All right, I'm super excited. Got in my uh, EVGA RTX 3090 for the Win 3 Ultra Edition. Graphics card, these things were a nightmare to get for many people on launch day. I was, uh, I guess, successful enough, lucky enough, however you want to look at it, to be able to snag one. And we're, all we're going to do today is just open it up, take a look at it, kind of a first look kind of thing. And then next week I'll get into benchmarks, but that's all this is today is just a quick unboxing. All right, so here we go. Um, kind of pumped about this. Uh, I'm also a little disappointed at the same time, and it's gonna sound like a strange statement. The reason I'm disappointed and pumped, first off, pumped because they're hard to get, right? And the reason I got went this route as opposed to 3080s is because it seems to me that um, Nvidia is trying to kill SLI. It's kind of a bummer. I don't totally understand why I'm mean, gonna get the idea of driver support, game support, that kind of stuff. But so many people like doing it. They like the look of it. They like the additional performance you can get out of it. Even if you just have to turn off SLI to be able to run a game properly, they still like to fill their computer with, you know, that dead space in there. Just, it's, you know, it's kind of a, an enthusiast uh, type of thing to do. And frankly, I enjoy it. Um, I don't know if this is the last round that they're gonna support them with, but the 3080s do not have any type of support for the uh, uh, SLI. So that's the reason I went ahead and did this. Um, if this is the last hurrah on SLI, then so be it. But uh, I'm hoping that that's not the case. I'd like to see them reopen that, but uh, we'll see what happens. So that's what we got here. And this is a very hefty packaging. Oh boy, the cat's going nuts. Uh, they see the reflection off the bag here and they're going absolutely bonkers. So, what do we get in here? First off, is our card. And this thing is, whew, it is hefty. I mean, there is no question about this. This thing is a serious piece of hardware. And that shroud is straight metal. I mean, it, this thing is hardcore. I'm gonna zoom in here in a second for you. And then we'll go ahead and uh, peel this stuff off. First, I wanna see what else is in the box of anything. I imagine there is. Oh, yep. Yeah. We have a ah, bracket. Good. So it was a bracket and oh, what did I drop here? An EVGA badge. Is this metal? Can't tell if that's really hard plastic or metal. Kind of a nice little touch there. And then we got, um, oh boy, installation guide. If you're buying this card, you probably know how to install it. I'm going to assume. At least I one would hope. Uh, <laughs> maybe not, I guess you never really know. And that's what you get in the box. So that's about as exciting of it as an unboxing or of an unboxing as you get. All right here, so let's uh, get a really good close up of this card and uh, talk about what we see to start off with. All right, first look here. Um, this is a beefy card. First thing you notice are the flat fans, not flans, I'm, I'm sure what a flan is. They are not perfectly centered across the street. So I actually kind of like the look of it. It's uh, hopefully the cooling uh, works well. I can't wait to test that out and see what that's like. But man, is that a hefty, hefty cooler that they got on there. That, that is really something. The shroud is plastic, but that's all right. I mean, I, when I get this thing put together, I'm gonna put it on a water block anyway. So that plastic shroud won't matter. I do like the looks of it. So if we're gonna look at it, how it would sit in your case, pretty straightforward. Uh, I'd be willing to bet that those light up uh, based upon the website uh, and other I, reviewers that have taken a look at this out there. Back plate, very nice and clean. This back plate, it feels, actually feels like metal. Or is it graphite? I can't really tell here. It does have dual BIOS, as you can see right here. You got your OC and your normal BIOS, just the Simple switch, it is defaulted to normal. And I did notice that they've already got um, BIOS updates for this on EVGA via the um, Precision One X, or X1 software, I should say. And this is the uh, For the Win 3 edition, so it should have a hefty boost. Very interesting that they went with an actual hard plastic accent at the end, or each end of the uh, card. I don't know that I'm a big fan of that. 
Uh, personally, I'm more of the type that prefers neutral, but again, I'll be removing this, so I guess in the end it won't matter. That's fine. You do have what appears to be one HDMI. I believe this is an HDMI 2.0 port and three display ports. Pretty straightforward. This is a hefty beast though. It looks like it's a two and a half card slot. Uh, it might even be considered three. I'd have to take a look at the specs on it, but definitely is a very hefty card. Uh, this will take up some space in your case. So hopefully with the new water blocks, I got to see if there's a different uh, bracket that might be available for this. I hope there is. I liked, or wait, last time there was a three bracket. I take that back. This is just going to be the single or the dual uh, socket bracket. So this will slim down once you get uh, this shroud and cooler removed and uh, we put a water block in there. I'm going to be looking at um, probably the Optimus blocks that they have available once they're uh, in stock again. Uh, so that's kind of our first glance here. Oh, I, we do have what appears to be digital RGB and RGB cables. So a fan header, that is a fan header actually, I apologize. So a digital RGB plug and a PWM fan plug. And then obviously it does take the three eight pin uh, PCIe, uh, PCIe cable setup. So pretty standard, it looks like on all the 3090s out there. Uh, very curious to see what kind of wattage this pulls. I know that Jace 2 Sense and Linus Tech Tips have done reviews on this card. Um, actually, so has Gamers Nexus. They've uh, already got their stuff in, but I'm gonna do my benchmarks and my thoughts uh, once I've got this all set up. And again, I'll be doing it on a water block, so I'm pretty pumped about that. But we'll, we'll check them out, the performance on just the air cooler first, and then we will compare the two. And then we'll compare them in SLI because I do have two of these. So I'm pretty pumped. I mean, I don't really know what else to say in a simple unboxing other than this is a very beefy car. I mean, this thing's got some serious weight to it. Not, it's, I know it's hard to tell on camera, but it's uh, very clean looking otherwise, other than the red plastic inserts at the end that I don't like. I will make mention also that I do like the fact that they went to this, they have this black, um, slot here. This is, this bracket here is really nice. Anyway, so that's kind of it. Let's discuss what I'm hoping to accomplish with this thing here uh, and uh, wrap this video up. Okay, so that's about it. Um, this was just meant to be a quick unboxing. I'm going to talk to you about what I want to do with this card. So first off, I am going to run some benchmarks with this. I'll do that next week. Uh, this week is, uh, again, short on time. Just every time I turn around, I'm running out of time, which is not good. But that will change. Um, I'm going to run the barn sparks on air for uh, just single card. And then air on SLI, just for kicks of it. And then these are going to be going into Genesis. And that is my centerpiece, uh, my main gaming computer. And when I'm going to do this, I'm going to initially do the uh, testing with a 9900K, and then I'm going to actually do it with a 10850K. And the reason why 10850 is 10900s, even at Micro Center, which I don't understand why Micro Center would get into this game, but they've been marking up the price on the 10900s uh, well beyond MSRP. I, I've never been a fan of when companies price gouge, and I'm very disappointed that Micro Center is price gouging on certain items right now. And they have been practicing that for a little bit. So really disappointed about that. Uh, but regardless, uh, I was able to get a 10850K when that came out. And they're, they're pretty readily available. It's basically the 10900. Just doesn't hit the same uh, back max boost clock out of the box that the 10900 does. But my thoughts are the 9900K I think is going to be a very common processor that people are going to be using still and using this car because... I don't know how many people are going to be turning around and um, just constantly buying the newest Intel chip. I'm not bagging on AMD. They've got some awesome stuff coming out. I'm just talking about what I specifically will be using this for at this moment. Now, I will also throw this in with my 3950X and see if there's much of a um, gaming dis difference. I don't expect it to be much, maybe very minimal. And then we'll see what happens when they bring out the uh, 5000 series processors from uh, AMD. I'm very excited about that. 
So the, what I'm gonna be doing for water blocks, I've been watching EK, hoping that they came out with something uh, soon on these. Optimus has already come out with their water blocks. Now they're kind of crazy priced, but should be pretty interesting. Uh, I know Steve with Gamer, Gamers Nexus had already done a video using those and got some pretty remarkable uh, scores uh, in his little competition that he does with uh, Jay's Two Cents. So I'm gonna grab one of those, uh, maybe even two if possible, see what's available. Uh, I'm gonna keep watching to see if Watercool comes out with one for with their heat killer blocks, which I, I just, those are my favorite blocks out there. And then see who else does eventually here. EVJ doesn't have their block out yet. So it's just kind of a race to see who's the first one to come out with one. And that's probably what I'll end up getting for the dual water blocks to go on my system. Regardless, I'm excited about that. This is gonna be a massive uh, performance upgrade uh, as I'm seeing other reviewers put out their benchmarks on it. So I'm expecting the same type of results. Uh, I do all my gaming in 4K. So that's where I think I'll really notice it. And that's what this card is meant for, uh, 4K with ray tracing. And then uh, obviously all of my uh, editing and rendering that I do. So I'm very excited to be able to use this one and specifically a couple of them. I'm also gonna try to pick up an Asus Strix uh, I think it's the 024G, their overclocked edition of the 3090. I definitely want to compare the two. Uh, someone already commented on one of my previous videos that why buy this? Uh, the Asus is the best card. Mind you, they said that before the Asus card was even released. So I don't know if that's just an Asus fanboy or what the case is. Because uh, I'll say I have the Asus Strix 2080 Ti and the EVGA uh, 2080 Ti and frankly... They're the same card. I, I didn't notice any type of performance difference between the two whatsoever. I don't expect there to be much of a difference if at all between the EVGA and the uh, ASUS. I do expect at some point the ASUS to be less expensive than the EVGA. EVGA seems to have continually increased their prices and then hold them there, uh, which is interesting. But I will also say that EVGA has a substantially better customer service than what ASUS does. At least that's been my experience. So anyway, that's what we got for today. Uh, hopefully you did like today's very quick, very simple unboxing video. This was not meant to be a review on, wow, look at how amazing this car is. Card is yet there's already out there. I'm gonna have mine out next week. And then you can bag on that if you want, or you can just say, hey, that was amazing. We'll see what, what it turns out to be. Uh, regardless, hopefully you liked today's video. If you did, hopefully uh, you can hit that thumbs up button for me. If you didn't, you know what else to do. I hope it's not that. Hit that subscribe for, button for me because it really does help this channel. And I will see you in the next one. So, uh, another level.